the Himalayas, the South China Sea, these are some of the most unforgiving and contested places on Earth. For any military, trying to operate here boils down to one word, logistics. There's an old saying that amateurs talk strategy, but professionals talk logistics. It's the life or death struggle of getting bullets, fuel, and food to the front lines, especially when the enemy is actively trying to blow up your supply lines. A single broken down truck or well-aimed missile can leave an entire unit stranded and helpless. But what if you could sidestep that danger? What if you could build a supply chain that's resilient, decentralized, and almost invisible to your opponent? China thinks it has just unveiled a new weapon that does exactly that. It's an unmanned heavy-lift drone that looks a whole lot like the iconic American Chinook. And it's a logistical game-changer that could give the People's Liberation Army a massive upper hand in any future fight. To really get why this drone is such a big deal, you have to picture the nightmare of supplying a modern army in a hot zone. Let's start with the Himalayas, the site of the tense border standoff between China and India. This is a region of insane altitudes, thin air, and brutal weather. PLA troops are dug into outposts perched on mountainsides, connected by winding, treacherous roads that are often just one landslide away from disaster. A simple truck convoy is a sitting duck. It's slow, it's loud, and it's stuck on predictable routes that are ridiculously easy for artillery or an ambush to target. When winter hits, heavy snow can shut these roads down for months, completely isolating troops and making any serious military operation impossible. Manned helicopters are an option, but a risky one. The thin air at high altitudes wrecks a helicopter's performance and how much it can lift. Plus, a manned helicopter is a huge asset. Losing one, along with its highly trained crew, is a major blow. PLA publications have stressed for years that logistics are the single biggest challenge to keeping soldiers deployed in these high-altitude regions. Now, let's swap the mountains for the open ocean, the South China Sea. The challenge here is different, but just as tough. China has built a string of fortified artificial islands to back up its territorial claims. But these island fortresses are, well, islands. They are isolated garrisons that depend entirely on supply lines stretching hundreds of miles across the water. A big supply ship is a slow, obvious target for submarines and anti-ship missiles. A large transport plane is a bright blip on a radar screen, vulnerable to fighter jets. In a conflict, an enemy like the US Navy could set up a blockade and essentially starve these garrisons out. It's a critical weakness that threatens China's entire island building strategy. For the PLA, Solving this puzzle isn't just an operational problem, it's a strategic emergency. And that brings us to the Boeing T-1400. Unveiled after a successful first flight, this tandem rotor unmanned helicopter is Beijing's answer to the tyranny of logistics. Developed by a private company called United Aircraft, it's a machine built for one main reason, to haul heavy loads into dangerous places without risking a single human life. Let's look at the numbers, because they tell the real story. The T-1400 has a maximum takeoff weight of 1,400 kilograms. More importantly, it can carry a payload of up to 650 kilograms, either packed inside its cargo bay or slung underneath. To give you some perspective, that's more than 10 adults. It's a huge amount of ammo, dozens of cases of medical supplies, or enough hot food and water to keep a company of soldiers going at a remote outpost. But maybe its most critical spec is its service ceiling, 6,500 meters. That's over 21,000 feet, which allows it to comfortably fly over the Tibetan Plateau, where many of the contested border areas are. This kind of high-altitude performance, thanks to its twin-engine, tandem rotor design, is a serious challenge for many conventional helicopters. The drone has impressive range, too. It can fly for up to 8 hours, but here's the crucial trade-off, that's with a lighter 200 kilogram payload. If you load it up with a heavier 500 kilogram payload, you still get over two hours of flight time, more than enough to make a critical delivery. Finally, it's designed for intelligent, autonomous flight. This isn't just a remote controlled chopper, it's a smart logistics platform that can navigate tricky terrain and bad weather with minimal human input. 
It's what some have called the pickup truck of the sky. If you're finding this look at the future of warfare as fascinating as we do, take a second to subscribe and hit that bell icon. We break down the tech and strategy shaping our world every week, and you won't want to miss what's next. So, China has a new heavy lift drone. What does that actually mean on the battlefield? How does this change the balance of power? Let's go back to the Himalayas. With a fleet of T-1400s, those treacherous mountain roads suddenly become a lot less important. Instead of slow, vulnerable convoys, the PLA can fly supplies directly to their high-altitude outposts. These drones can operate at night, in bad weather, and through terrain that would be a death trap for manned aircraft. They can fly low through valleys to stay off radar or cruise high above the peaks. This creates a resilient and unpredictable flow of supplies, allowing the PLA to sustain a larger and more active force on the border. That puts immense pressure on Indian forces, who may not have anything like it. Now, think about the South China Sea. An American naval blockade just got much, much harder to enforce. Trying to stop a few big supply ships is one thing. Trying to spot and shoot down dozens, or even hundreds, of small, autonomous drones coming from all directions at different altitudes. That's a whole different nightmare. These drones can create a decentralized intelligentized supply web that's incredibly difficult to break. One T-1400 might not carry as much as a C-130, but a swarm of them working together can. PLA exercises have already experimented with drone swarms to get supplies to troops under fire, proving they can keep units fighting longer. And here's the core of the advantage. It takes the human cost out of the logistics equation. A commander would think twice about sending a manned helicopter and its crew into a heavily defended area on a, maybe mission. But an unmanned drone? That's a risk you can take. You can send a T-1400 to resupply a besieged island or a frontline unit low on ammo, knowing that even if it gets shot down, you haven't lost a pilot. That completely changes the math for commanders. It allows the PLA to be more aggressive, to take more risks, and to sustain operations in places that used to be considered far too dangerous. And this drone isn't some standalone project. It's part of a massive, state-directed push by China to dominate future warfare with unmanned and intelligentized systems. From robotic excavators and trucks to a newly revealed drone aircraft carrier, Beijing is building an entire ecosystem of robotic warfare. This intense focus on logistics is especially telling. Stealth fighters and aircraft carriers get the headlines, but strategists know that wars are won or lost in the supply chain. By cracking the problem of high-risk logistics, China is laying the foundation for a more agile and resilient military machine. And here's the really clever part. On paper, this drone is for civilian use, firefighting, agricultural spraying, and disaster relief. This dual-use strategy is classic Beijing. It lets companies like United Aircraft develop and mass-produce the technology for the commercial market, which refines the platform and brings down costs. All the while, they're perfecting a system that's tailor-made for military use whenever it's needed. Of course, the United States and its allies are in this race, too. The U.S. Marine Corps has been experimenting with unmanned logistics for years, and private companies are developing their own cargo drones. But the debut of a mature, heavy lift platform like the T-1400 sends a clear signal. China isn't just catching up in this field, it's taking a leading role. This creates a brand new headache for military planners, who now have to figure out how to counter China's ability to supply its forces in even the most heavily defended areas. The era of the vulnerable supply convoy, slowly snaking its way to the front, might be drawing to a close. In its place, we're seeing the rise of autonomous drone swarms, coordinated by AI, sustaining the battles of tomorrow. The Boeing T-1400 is more than just a new drone, it's a powerful symbol of a fundamental shift in how wars are fought. It uses the technology of the future to solve one of the oldest problems in military history. In doing so, it gives the PLA a real, powerful, and potentially decisive advantage in the world's most critical hotspots. This isn't just an unmanned Chinook, it's a preview of the intelligent, unmanned battlefield of the 21st century, and China is making it very clear that it plans to be a major player. What are your thoughts? Is this drone the game changer it seems to be, or is it getting overhyped? Let us know in the comments below.
And for more deep dives into the tech that's shaping our world, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.